Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, I, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God, what a woman. 
She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. What? Fight this mob, We must begin. Lady me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope. I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip, hip, hooray! Miss <laughs> Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause.